Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the Google Finance function to get some historical data on a specific stock. That's going to be prices on specific days and a range of days. So I had a question a little bit ago in an earlier Google Finance video where the person was asking about the syntax for the function if we want to get specific days. And we can certainly do that. So in a previous video, I just did a little bit of a setup on getting into the Google Finance function and using different arguments. So check that out. But now I want to focus on the price for specific days. So I'm going to play around with GameStop because it's obviously been uh, really wacky in the news the past couple days. It is Thursday, January 28th when I'm recording this, so this is probably uh, GameStop's craziest week in existence. So let's try this out. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to just going to make a little barrier here, a break. I'll just go ahead and call this a key dates, historical data, and uh, just give this a different color, nice shade of green, cool. Now here's how I'm going to write this. So just below that cell, I'm picking on cell A5 for no real reason. I'm going to write equals Google Finance. Let's see. Now the first thing it definitely needs is my ticker. I can't see my ticker, but I know it's in cell A3. So I'm going to go ahead and write A3. And I'm going to make it absolute, even though that's probably not really necessary in this example. Comma. Now we have some choices here. I think what I'm going to do first is do the open. So that's going to go in quotation marks, comma. So that's going to be an opening price. Now don't confuse that with the price open that I have right here. The price open that I was using in my prior example, and I'll bring your attention to that again in a minute, is today's opening price. But now I want to do a specific opening price. And for that, I'm going to put in a specific date. So I'm going to put a date in uh, with the uh, quotation marks again. I'm going to pick on January 4th of 21. 2021. I happened to, I looked earlier, that, that was the first Monday of January. And I'll just stop it right there and go ahead and, and see what we get. So according to this historical data, GameStop's opening price on January 4th, 2021 was only 19 bucks. Its opening price today, uh, Thursday, January 28th, was uh, 265. Its current price is 190. I think that might be, I still, oh, I still have the sheet up here. Let's do a refresh. And let's see, it is, uh, oh, it's almost 2 p.m. Pacific, so the market is definitely closed. Um, and uh, they're probably doing some after hours trading, I'm sure. But basically it closed at 193 bucks on the 28th. Okay. So current price, that's, that's gonna be locked in there, but definitely declined a lot. So on January 4th, only 19th. So that's a specific date. How did I write that? It's right up here, Google Finance, the stock symbol in question. And if you didn't have it in a cell reference, you just could have put in the stock symbol right in there. Um, I wanted the opening price for that particular day. However, let's get a range of dates. So and I can type this right here. The first date is going to be the start date for my range. Then I'll do a comma, and I'm going to go ahead and put in January 31st of 2021 in quotes again. That's going to give me the range of dates for there. Now again, I am doing this on January 28th. Uh, which is a Thursday, which means there is a stock day today and there's a stock day tomorrow, but it doesn't give me in the historical, it doesn't give me today's date and it doesn't give me obviously tomorrow's date. That would be awesome if it did, right? So it truly is historical data. <clears throat> it gives me January 27th before that. Now these are opening prices though. So don't be put off by these times of 1600. I'm actually not 100% sure what that represents because uh, that's the market close time, but these are opening prices. So in order to make our lives easier, we could probably just format these as a short date to get them out, our, get them out of our life. That might just be entered as text though, so it may not be a true number date format in Excel, uh, no, almost said Excel, in Google Spreadsheets. So that's the opening price. Now off to the side, I think what I will do is I'm going to do another Google Finance. Google Finance, I still want my ticker to be A3, and I'm gonna make that absolute, comma. This time, I'm gonna do a close price, and I'll still do January 4th of 21, comma, and then, of course, you're looking right up here in my 
um, address bar to see exactly what I'm typing in there. And again, I will do uh, January 31st of 21. Now, what you could do to make this kind of interesting is instead of typing in actual dates, you could, well, this will probably take another video because I can see I'm already getting a little bit long here. You could actually put a date function in here. So let me just show you what that would look like. I'll go ahead and put in a date function and then it wants a year, month, day. So I could put in 2021 and then the month will be January, comma, and the day will be the fourth. And then notice I'm not using, do, using quotation marks this time. And then I could do another date function. Again, 2021, comma, January, comma, 31. And come right back to that. But let me go ahead and press Enter. Cool, so now I've got the closing prices for those days. So let's look at one particular day. January 4th, which is the first Monday of January. Uh, opening price was 19, closing price was 17.25. Cool, reopen the next day. Um, notice there's little differences in there, a little bit of after hours trading, I, I would assume. Um, perhaps uh, puts and calls and all that fun stuff that are changing a few things, but this should be pretty similar. And then we can start to see the craziness really started to happen in just the past few days to see what was going on there. Okay, so let's back, go back to this original function up here. So why would I use the date function instead of just typing in the date in quotes? Well, this would give you some opportunities in order to extract dates from other cells. So if you wanted to make an interface where you could easily type in a date or um, get the date from some other, from other field, um, that would be kind of an interesting way to go about it. So that's all we're doing there. And even though I typed in specific information in the date function, those could have been cell references. All right, so that's all I wanna show you there, but this is how you can get historical data for a particular stock. This is how you can get specific prices for specific days of a stock. Thanks for hanging out with me, take care.